A, a conversation I once had with my master, Brahmananda, illustrates how an illumined soul acts as directed by the will of the Lord. One day he asked me to look at the almanac to find an auspicious date for his departure from, from Madras. As I did so, so, I could not help smiling. Maharaj, Swami Brahmananda, noticed this and asked me why I was amused. I replied, well, Maharaj, you always go through this routine, routine whenever you plan to go anywhere. But then when suddenly make up your mind to leave, and then you go on some other day. At this, Maharaj says, do you think I do anything according to my own will? The devotee insisted upon fixing some debt for my going to. So, to avoid constant pestering, I fix a tentative debt. But I do not move or do anything until I know the will of the Lord. Wow! And thy, my will to thy will. Then, 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 do you mean to say, I asked, that you are always guided by the will of the Lord? He is asking directly his Guru, Brahmananda. Huh? Do you move everything by will of God? He said, yes. Well, Maharaj, then he put the question again, Prabhuvananda's question. Well, Maharaj, I too may think of or feel that I am doing the will of God, when actually I am only following my own inclinations and attributing them to God's will. Is not that what you do? Oh my God, challenging Maharaj in such a way. And then Sami Prabhuvananda says, No, my son, it is not the same. <laughs> then, then he said, then, then, then again Prabhuvananda Sami, then do you mean to say that you actually see God and talk to Him directly and know this is His will? Maharaj says, Yes. I wait, I wait until his will directly, until I know his will directly and he tells me what I should do. That's our wonderful tradition. That's why you know, our, uh, some Swamis taught us that when any situation comes, problem comes, you can take your own decision, but that's not good. You give it to God, pray to God, and let that direction come in your heart. After continuous prayer for a few days, your mind will direct yourself. Not that like them, like Maharaj, Ramakrishna comes and says, hey, do this. You are not that great, we are not that great. But your mind will bend in one direction. Do this. You will feel, ah, it is good. After prayer, it comes. Then take that path. That is God's will. So, yes, I wait until I know his will directly and he tells me what I should do. For everything you do so, is the question from Sami Prabhuvananda. Maharaj responds, yes, for everything I do, I have the direct guidance of God. Baba, who can say that? That's why they are spiritual people par excellence. Hmm? And do you accept only those disciples he wants you to accept? Because he is interested in his own self. <laughs> he is a disciple of Maharaj. He thinks, for me also Thakur came and told you that give initiation to Prabhuvananda. Is it so? Or you gave it? Huh? Ma Maharaj says, yes. After this talk, I began to better understand his Peculiar way of acting. For example, whenever anyone of us would ask his advice, he would say, wait, wait, my brain is not working today. Huh? Or he would say, my stomach is upset. I will answer you tomorrow. Anything you ask Maharaj, you don't get any immediate work. Some people complain. Yeah, you go to this Swami, he will always put you hanging. Uh, he will not answer now. You say, okay, come tomorrow. Okay, then I said, come tomorrow. And Maharaj used to spend time to get a direction from inside, say, okay, ah, my brain is not working, I cannot respond to your question today. Come tomorrow. That means he gets some time to pray and feel and feel the direction, what God wants, what Ramakrishna wants. Huh? Similarly, if someone comes for 
initiation. Oh, I am not feeling well. My temperature, uh, uh, my stomach is upset today. Like that. Is he telling lie? No. If stomach really upset, they say their stomach will be upset. <laughs> because they are all established in truth. If they say, I will be, I am feeling fever, fever will come then. <laughs> but this is taking time to understand what God wills. These are their, as he said, extraordinary spiritual people. So, my, um, but when Maharaj did finally speak, there was always a special power behind his words. So, this is at the end of this aphorism number five. We will discuss verse number six next day, which talks about what? Again, further explanation of achievement of bhakti, what you will attain. He says, Jajgatva mattu bhavati stabdhu bhavati atmaramu bhavati, attaining which one becomes mattu. Means, uh, mattu means will be what? They have translated uh, intoxicated. Uh, one will be intoxicated, one will be like uh, stuff, it will be calm, like a rock. Uh, or he will be Atma Ramo, will be absorbed, continually enjoying the bliss within. So we'll talk about that. Verse number six, next day, Sutra, the um, Bhakti Sutra six. On page 33, we'll start then. Acha, is there any question or anything? There is one question. I also have one question. You have also one question. Okay. Isn't it true that any decision you make, everything has positive side, some positive, some negative side. Nothing will be foolproof. Yeah. So it doesn't matter. That so so if it, you pay, yeah, what it, it will show you something. Okay, good, good. So the, your question is that when we do something, anything we do, there is a positive side, there is a negative side. No, I don't Achha, think. But that is for us, because we are driven by our ego. Our decision is not perfect. But when it comes from God's will, that it, it has a different perspective, it will be only good only. Because God has the perfect vision and experience, what is good that will happen. But when I do something, without prayer or without anything, driven by my ego, that has a different result. Uh, so, when driven by God's will, because God has created the entire universe and he has no perso personal feeling of liking and disliking or doing this and not doing. So, uh, we are imperfect, therefore our decision, our ex uh, expectation may, may be a little uh, uh, problematic, it may not be right decision. That's why our decision and Madhavananda Swami's decision, Madhavananda Swami uh, they are, because they are perfected, they are, they are direction, and that is the right decision. Somebody asked Maharaj, how could you do Swami Madhavananda? They, you, you, we come with serious problem, and you give the decision, and, and afterwards we see that is the best decision possible, out of so many alternatives. But how it happens? Well, I do not know. I, I don't think of anything. I, that means he makes the mind blank or makes it for just open to thought, God's, and then whatever comes in the mind, he thinks it is God's will. And that will be less reactive, no? Any, any person, say, someone Bin Laden is doing, trying to destroy the Twin Tower, he thinks that his thought is correct, he is spreading God's name that way, maybe, but that has its consequence so much bad. But would Krishna uh, stop, try to stop the war, but it didn't happen. But Krishna guided Arjuna not to take a false step. But death was inevitable because their karma will bring that death. All the forces, both the forces fought. Some fought for justice, some for no, uh, unjust thing. But, but it was guided by God, by Arjuna. So their correction there was mass, less faulty. Uh, but but if it was done only by the ego of Durjadana, that, that is danger that created. Acha, anything more? Uh, yeah, more. When you say mm. everything you do has a more positive, mm. now, how do we know in a bigger picture what we think is bad 
may bring down. Yeah, ultimately may good. Yeah. Mm. For the time being, it may g- bring bad, but ultimately it is good, no? When something has abscess in the... Uh, and doctors, when they operate, or somebody comes and injures you. Someone injures you, you are suffering. But someone is removing this abscess by cutting it and doctor is doing is doing good to you, though it appears some pain. No, but you know, if you get hurt by one incident of Lahiri Mahasaya from self-realization, he was walking with somebody and he told the other guy, just tear up some material, I will be little band-aids. And then, you know, immediately big fell and cut his head or something. So the other guy said, if you mute the pick, it's going to fall. Why didn't you change side? So Lahiri Mahasaya said, my karma I have to go through. Otherwise, mm. it will come back in such a bad right, way. Right. So what we say is bad may not be that bad. Yeah. Actually, if the whole world is run by God, then even if we make decision, that is what I'm thinking. We don't make decision. That's the problem. When we make decision, there is good and bad. More bad than good. But when it is comes from prayer and surrender and getting the will of the Lord, that decision is more perfect. Apparently, there may be some mistakes or there may be some uh, reasonable thing that it is bad, but it is not ultimately bad. If you see the period of time, you see uh, that is not bad. I said, this is the question one. It give us householders some practical ways to attain the bliss state easily and we do not hate anyone. Well, this is a question of practice. You please practice your mantra, please practice this prayer and uh, try to read the life of the great souls and and remind yourself, no, I shall not hate. I may have, I may not like, but I will try to think that I, uh, there is one word, um, hate the sin, not the sinner. This word is very important. We, m- we must have to have something troubling us uh, and that bad thing is to be avoided. But the sinner who is behind that sinner is God himself. So we have to put this idea again and again to think that God has become the whole universe and for his good, everything is going on by his will. So let me do my part and offer myself at his feet. So that should be the attitude. All the practices, ma- mantra, japa, prayer, meditation, selfless karma, all are part of purification to make us to, uh, to reach that state where there is no desire and we reach the perfection. Okay, we end here now. Thank you all. And we will be again meeting you at 7.30 or evening time, 7.30 for the nectar of supreme bliss. Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Tassat Sri Ram Krishna Arpanam Astu